I feel like I'm glowing. I mean, just when I thought my melanin was popping, like I go get a tan and I feel even beautiful. <laughs> Bitch, y'all thought that y'all were gonna see like the Mojo Maker footage. Over with. It's hot. It feel like it feel like Dominican Republic in my house. For real. Uh, so yeah, I transferred everything to you, footage wise. Oh yeah, just send it to me. Tell him bye. He just told the heavy suitcase to him. Man, she got body up in here. I got dead bodies. I'm bringing back. I'm, I'm bringing brought, back immigrants. She brought back a butler. I brought back my butler and a uh, couple of my Dominican woes. Yeah, I'm so tired and I forgot to vlog the last day. You gone? I got, I got a couple footage from when I said. I don't. I mean, then you probably got more than me. What's up? Y'all, yeah, so I finally did my hair. Um, treated it. Just gave it some nourishment. I probably should have put on a shirt. We're going to ignore that. But anyways, I'm washing my hair and I see when I was in DR, I forgot to put on sunscreen on my face for one, like one day and my skin started peeling on my nose. It was so ugly, but I finally got that dead skin off. And now that I've washed my hair, as you can see, I have some dead skin peeling on my forehead and I have a little bit around my eye. I, I never seen it in this area right here before though. It's so freaking ugly like ew. But I just been picking it. I don't know what I need to be doing. By the time y'all tell me what I need to be doing it's going to probably be too late. So I just been picking at this skin hoping it don't flake and get in my freaking hair. But for the most part I'm good. Got my little protein um condition going on and yeah i still haven't unpacked i feel like ever since i've been back my camera been looking stupid funky but my clothes is literally right there by the door who cares um my house is a mess it was clean when i got back though i just went into lazy mode and i'm hungry i didn't make groceries before i left and everything was nice and clean, but now I'm back and I don't want to leave the house and I'm super hungry. So, I've been editing a couple of vlogs and um, catching up on some vlogs that I normally keep up with. And yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. I brought a little taste of the island back with me and I've been like being a pig right now. Eating these chips, these plantain chips right here. They so good. Ugh. I, show, I I ordered some from room service. <laughs> and uh, when I was leaving, I was like, what are we going to do with these ships? So I put them in my suitcase. Like, why not bring the island back with you? I also got a really popular drink, drink alcohol from the island. And let me show y'all. The drink is... Hold on, y'all. It's... I forgot when I went through the duty free shop, they stapled and pinned the bag up. So I probably need more than one hand to open this. Here it is, right here. Focus, focus. It's called Mama Moana. And it's basically, I will read y'all what it is, but it's all in Spanish. I can read a little Spanish, but I'm not that fluent. I know that it's an aphrodisiac. Um, it's 100% Dominico. <laughs> Let me see. Can I find out more information? Oh, my hair is in my mouth. Um, basically, I know that this is like a really popular drink there. It's red wine. Is it Dominican rum? Wet red wine, cinnamon. It's something else. How are you going to have an attention notice in English and everything else in the bottle? <laughs> Spanish. Attention. The liquid in this bottle 
It's to cure the sticks. Do not drink. What? The liquid. Wait. Huh? Wait. I'm confused. I, I've been drinking it. Okay, y'all. So, I got it right. Um, Well, wrong. What you do is you take this bottle, which this bottle has, like, if you can see, like, a lot of sticks and bark and stuff like that. Um, So, what you do is, basically, this is $10. It's a real good size, though. I don't know if y'all see. But you pour the liquid out. You let it sit in the bark and stuff for, like, two weeks. You pour it out, and then... You um fill it up with red wine, uh, rum, and honey. And then you let it sit for a little while. I forgot, but then it creates a uh, mama wanna. That's what the drink is. So basically, I just paid $10 for bark. Well, to brew it. They got me. <laughs> So it's 11:30 at night, and guess where I am? H E B. I better get a basket because, which is wet, cause it's been raining. Anyways, I just gonna get some fruit and some water. So y'all, this is supposed to be a really mini haul. I only had oranges, a lemon, bananas, and grapes. So I'm going to get some gallons of water and some eggs and hopefully I'll be out of here. I really should grab some meat and I won't have to come back. But I'm tired. Do I want ground turkey? Okay, let's see what it looks like. I'm trying to get out of here. I gotta go to work in the morning and I'm not very happy about returning to work. Ew. Look at it. I'm not very happy about returning to work uh, after vacation. Ground cooking. I know I'm picky about everything. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I also went with some uh, no biotic chicken breast, just a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna bounce over here. I don't know why it looks so dark. Bounce over here and give me a couple gallons of water. I always get a, a lot of gallons and like tote like one or two up every time I get off work because I know where I'm finna tote all this water up the stairs. And finally, finally, they are stocked up. This all is almost empty. One gallon of water for 68 cents. I was finna say 69. Like, you can't beat that. So, let me give me like six. Ugh. I really need to get more than that. I don't like the way that look. Okay, it might be alright. My homie on Snapchat said I should pick up some Gatorade, maybe some zero calorie Gatorade to like put some good stuff back into my body after that vacation because like I'm not gonna lie I did have a lot to drink different things champagne pina colada like whiskey and coke I was just like oh my god so I'm just about to pick up some Gatorade so I can get some of these what you call it I'm finna say antibiotics good <laughs> so you, what, what do you call it I know what you call it but uh electrolytes or something so i can get that back into my body last stop should be the eggs and we're good to go can I get a Okay, should I be cheap? 125. 
What should I get the 268? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Might be my lucky day. The crazy part, I'm running into these boxes. <laughs> the crazy part about this grocery trip, like I don't even want to pick up anything unhealthy. Cause I know I just wowed out in Dominican Republic. So I'm like, <sighs> so I just also picked up some of these complete cookies. They, they uh two for $3, not the best deal, but they good and I could use their protein and just that little bit of sugar to keep me on track and not, you know, wilding out with unhealthy things. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Did you want to like something back for the Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, so first off, I feel like I don't remember this street being this bumpy. I feel like I'm just bumped the dump bump <laughs> down the street. But anyways, I'm actually um, headed to a cleaning appointment. This is actually my first dental cleaning with braces. So I'm pretty interested to see how this goes. Of course, you know, I'm running just on time to put me there right on time, not late and not ahead. I promise I'm going to get better with that. Like, oh my God. But um, yeah, so I've, you know, got kind of scared about the dental cleaning with braces. I've researched. Um, I found out that some dentists actually take the wires out and some actually clean around them. I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to go down today. Um, would I prefer them to take my wires off? At this point, I don't mind, but when my teeth get to moving around, I feel like I will be scared for them to take my wires off because I feel like your teeth going to be on like strings and without that string, you know, yeah. So let me just get into this. Y'all see this tan? I don't know if y'all really realize the difference. Even when people see me, I ask them, you see my tan? They be like, mm, nah, a little bit. But then they'll see like a part of my arm. They'll be like, okay, I see it. But me being that it's my skin that has been tanned, I feel like my tan is popping. I really do. I feel like I'm glowing. I mean, just when I thought my melanin was popping, like, I go get a tan, and I feel even beautiful. <laughs> like, I feel even more beautiful, for real. I feel, I don't know, I'm still feeling exotic and stuff. Y'all know everybody thought I was Dominican. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I came from my appointment, and let's have, I kind of want to make this a segment, because I feel like I'm always talking in my car. Car convos with Whitty, or something like that. I know, it was probably corny. Hey, be still. Sorry, y'all. But anyways, I just came from my cleaning, and like, that was the quickest, okay, you just want to be this low, We're gonna, I'm going to get low with you. Anyway, let's get comfortable since everything want to drop down. Um, I just had a cleaning and I feel like that was the quickest cleaning of my life. I kind of feel like she tried, she took shortcuts because of my braces. Like, I know I have less space to clean because the, the brackets are in the way, but I don't know. But, um, about the maintenance of my mouth and stuff she said that um things looked a lot better as far as my what do you call it my my tooth pockets you know what i mean if y'all go regularly y'all know what i'm talking about so the numbers were of course lower and i don't know i guess you can thank my uh, electric toothbrush for that but then she said i had uh a little bit more than normal nor more than I normally have plaque uh on the top here and the very 
bottom and i'm like she's my and she said i need to angle my toothbrush bro if y'all saw how intensive that i brush my teeth with these braces bro you'll be like okay girl you don't need to do all that and for her to say that i'm like what am i doing wrong it's like they tell you something you do everything you can to correct it and it's like still not getting better and it's so frustrating because i take pride in my mouth i don't want to walk around with no yellow decayed teeth when i'm like 50 or 60 you know what i'm saying like my mouth my hygiene period is very important to me i don't know about y'all you know what i'm saying like but i can't be walking around here with no stank breath with no bad tooth with no decaying tooth in my mouth i can't be walking around here musty or my, my hygiene my hygiene it just has to be on point so i just don't know I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and it's very frustrating. I feel like I'm just chilling with y'all. <laughs> but, uh. But, yeah, I just don't know. And I brush a lot. And she, uh, she recommended that I use a whitening toothpaste. But I, I did so much research, and they said whitening toothpaste um, isn't always good for people with braces because it could whiten your teeth. And under your brackets, of course, it's not going to get whiter because you're not brushing it. And when you take your braces off, you have a a different discoloration of your teeth where the brackets were. She said that's not true. I mean, everybody give mixed reviews on it. So, um, yeah, she also said that she also recommended the water pick. And I was really, I you know, every, every braces video that I watch, people always suggest the water pick and stuff like that and i was trying to cut corners around it because i spent a lot of money on my electric toothbrush but um i don't know i might do a water pick or whatever and maybe do a review on it or something i don't know but i'm just trying to avoid spending so much money on my bracelet on my mouth put it like that on my mouth um also getting you know this this tooth that they wouldn't put the bracket on i'm gonna get it filled tomorrow my doctor actually said that it, it could wait till after my ortho treatment and i was like listen my ortho she she's annoying you know <laughs> uh, she's annoying about this thing in my mouth and i was like if i said she i said does it need to be filled he was like no it's not a cavity it's a chip he said it's probably been there a minute and i'm like yeah truly i really forgot it was there because it's been there forever and it's never turned into a cavity i mean i keep it clean you know i keep my mouth clean so there's no there's no problem but i really just kind of pushed him into like go ahead and feeling it anyway just so i won't have no problem with hearing her mouth because i'm tired of having to carry documents back and forth from my dentist to my ortho 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 oh it's annoying so yeah i do that tomorrow and i'm not excited because i have to get my mouth numb for that so i start by sunk to make me feel to get something to make me feel better and let me tell y'all do not get pina colada from sunnings after you've been to the dominican republic and you taste like the real original taste of things this Pit and Kalala is trash. It's so disgusting. It just tastes like pineapple. Pit and Kalala is not supposed to be just pineapple. <sighs> anyway, let me get in this house. I gotta record some videos or whatever. And yes, I'm gonna brush my teeth after I get to drinking this because sugar. <laughs> 